uh, Chris Thompson's run there a few times? Yep, yep. He, he keeps on knocking up some um, um, personal bests and uh, and everything with our 10K. And, uh, and, he, and he won the marathon last year and won a, won a uh, trip to the Cayman Islands. Um, so, yeah, he keeps coming back. We keep increasing the prizes for him and, uh, and, um, and, and that, but yeah, no, we, we, we always try and invite, you know, have Olympians, you know, listen, sure. we haven't got a big, you know, like everywhere that the sponsorship budget's not, not massive. Um, we'd like more competitive races, but it sits at the um, the start of September. So it's a bit of a weird time for, from, from an elite running point of view in Europe. Um, mm-hmm. You've either got, you know, when when normally a week after or on the same weekend of the, as the Great North Run, so you know they're they're a, they're a serious outfit and they will take a lot of leads. But we try and keep something local, and we've got loads of Olympians training just down the road in Teddington. I mean, it's the, that part of London's the epicenter of British uh, distance running. I mean, it's where that is the is where the London Marathon was created in a pub. Um, you've also got the park runs, which have gone around the world now, um, um, in the, in the same borough as well. And Mo Farah went to the St. Mary's uh, university as well. So it's got some real heritage. My, my old man back in the seventies, when he was world record holder, um, you know, he was doing a lot of his training, uh, uh, there as well, sort of thing. So it's, um, you know, Usain Bolt's agents there. It's got, geez, it's got every, it's just this magnet and epicenter of, um, lots of successful things in distance, uh, uh, world running as well so yeah great venue great part of london 